Water is sacred. Water is the sustainer of life. Since time immemorial, civilizations have flourished around water. India has about 14,500 kilometers of navigable waterways, which comprise of rivers, canals, backwaters, creeks, etc. About 55 million tons of cargo is being moved annually by inland water transport in a fuel-efficient and environment-friendly mode. IWAI looks after development and regulation of inland waterways for shipping and navigation. Between 3000 and 2000 BC, river valley civilizations formed independently of each other along the Indus, the Nile, the Tigris and the Euphrates and the Yellow River. The Nile River was the axis of early African civilization in Egypt, providing a reliable source of water for farming and linking them to sub-Saharan Africa and the Mediterranean Sea. The Indus Valley Civilization, located in present-day Pakistan and India, grew along the Indus River and its tributaries as early as 3000 BC. Its efficient management of water resources has led archaeologists to consider it an extremely advanced civilization for its time, the Bronze Age. Till date, archaeologists debate over the ultimate cause for the collapse of Indus Valley. But most of the possible theories involve water. The latest research points to 200 years of drought and desertification as the reason for its destruction. Prior to 1757, commercial activities of the East India Company were confined to coastal markets. Navigation canals were dug, steamships and steamboats were introduced in the rivers. This means of transport proved cheaper and easier both for the merchants and people. Regular steamer services ran from Kolkata up the Ganga to Allahabad and far beyond. Originating from a Himalayan glacier in Gomukh, Ganga is the most sacred river in India. It is also a lifeline to millions of Indians who live along its course. From the glacial mountains to the sea at the Bay of Bengal, it flows through the Gangetic Plains through many important cities that grew on the riverside. Ganga Bhagirathi Hooghly River System from Allahabad to Haldia was declared as National Waterway No. 1. The waterway extends from Haldia to Allahabad for a distance of 1,620 kilometers. The Hooghly River portion of the waterway from Haldia to Nabadweep is tidal. Sea-going vessels navigate up to Calcutta. IWAI carries on its activities with its own survey and tug vessels ensuring smooth passage of bulk cargo vessels, liquid cargo movement, ODC movements and ferry vessels. There are a number of cruise vessels that travel up to Varanasi. The facilities are at par with a five-star hotel and it is one of the most successful ventures that will expand this sector in future. From Faraka upstream, the navigable route is through the main Ganga River. With the controlled discharge from the Faraka barrage and limited river conservancy work, a navigable depth of 3 meters is maintained in this route. The navigational aids, DGPS and river information system contribute largely to safe navigation in the waterways. Under a tripartite agreement between IWAI, NTPC Limited and Jindal ITF, a private sector company, coal movement has commenced on National Waterway 1.
around 3 million tons of imported coal is being handled and transported to NTPC Faraka. The unloading at Faraka and coal is being carried through conveyor belts to the power plant. In addition, there are huge dredging opportunities available on the Ganga. There are several other areas in the stretch between Haldia and Allahabad where dredging activities are taking place including Sahib Ganj and Patna. River Conservancy works, dredging, day channel marking and bandaling are carried out on a year-to-year -year basis. Varanasi has been a culture centre of North India for several thousand years and is closely associated with the Ganges, the spiritual capital of India. It is the holiest of the seven sacred cities, Saptapuri, in Hinduism and Jainism. Buddha gave his first sermon after Nirvan in Sarnath at Varanasi. IWAI, with the assistance of the World Bank, is making several new terminals in Banaras, Sahib Ganj and Haldia. There is also a plan to develop the 2302 km long Indo-Bangladesh protocol route covering Sundarband waterways in India and the river system of Bangladesh. The Sundarbans mangrove forest, one of the largest such forests in the world. The area is known for its wide range of fauna, including the Bengal tiger and the Indian python. The area provides livelihood in certain seasons for large numbers of people living in small villages surrounding the property, working variously as woodcutters, fishermen, honey gatherers and grass gatherers. Originating from Jima Yangzong Glacier in Tibet, 2,900 kilometers, Brahmaputra is one of the longest river in the world with a drainage basin of 5,80,000 square kilometer. The Brahmaputra, along with its continuous water routes leading up to the ports of Calcutta and Haldia, is a very important traditional IWT route. Guwahati and the stretch downstream of Pandu up to Bangladesh border is the stretch where IWT operation is presently most active. Eight hundred and ninety one kilometers of Brahmaputra was declared National Waterways Number no. Two in nineteen eighty eight. It is connected to National Waterways Number no. One through Indo Bangladesh Protocol Route. Pandu Port in Guwahati is the most important river station on National Waterway 2 with warehouse facilities, road, rail connectivity. It has low-level jetty of fixed terminal capable of handling container and high-level jetty of fixed terminal for the rainy season when water level goes up. River cruise in Brahmaputra River is increasingly getting popular. A grand welcome awaits the tourists on board. One can explore the wildlife, local culture, crafts and mouth-watering cuisines.
Kerala, as they say, is truly God's own country. The Kerala backwaters are a chain of brackish lagoons and lakes lying parallel to the Arabian Sea coast, 205 kilometers of the West Coast Canal from Kottapuram to Kollam along with Udyogamandalam was declared National Waterways 3 in 1993. In some areas, embankments have been built and maintained by IWAI along the backwaters to save the rice fields of Kuttanad known as the Rice Bowl of Kerala. Navigational aids with solar panels provide day-night navigation facility. Apart from industrial and agricultural produce, FACT, which is Fertilizer and Chemicals Travancore Limited, transports liquefied ammonia from Cochin Port to its plants. The Chinese came to Kerala for spice trade and put Chinese fishing nets in the 14th century. These fishing nets covered the waterway earlier. With Inland Water Transport Authority's intervention and persuasion, fishing was restricted close to the beaches. Willingdon Fort, next to Kochi Shipyard, is the area from where IWAI runs its Roro service. This ferry is replacing hundreds of trucks from the crowded Cochin roads. The transportation distance of 38 kilometers is reduced to 2.5 kilometers using the Roro service or the roll-on, roll-off barge service. Each barge has the capacity to carry 20 container trucks. Roro service between Willingdon and Bolgati Island has successfully reduced 2.2 lakh container trailers from the Kochi roads. Waterways is recognized as an environment-friendly mode of transportation which is comparatively cheaper than road and rail transport. The development of waterways will give the nation a sustainable alternative mode of transportation 